wanted to give our viewers a better perspective of what you can and can't do on trains in general, but mostly on Amtrak, America's rail transportation company. Let's start off with five things you can do on Amtrak. Catch up on some reading. For example, what I'm doing, I'm reading a book called Fast Trains. On a not so fast train. <laughs> Talk about the irony there. Since you have more space to stretch out than in a car or plane, you can utilize this and catch up on some much needed Z's you've been missing out on. After all, you won't be sleeping if you go into a city known as a city that never sleeps. Unless you stay over in New Jersey, the state where everyone can sleep. This is unique to a train, and something you can't do as well on a plane, unless you like looking at the tops of clouds. Amtrak passes through many scenic vistas, from orange groves, swamps, rolling hills, national landmarks, and the walking dead. They did used to go on the PA system and tell you when they were passing by these landmarks, so you could have your camera ready to snap a picture. As of nowadays, well, they don't even do that, so just have your camera ready at any time. Another thing you can also do on the train is watch a movie. Not that the war is over. A tradition I always do when I go on the train is I watch the whole Godfather trilogy on the train. Godfather, I have a door. But due to copyright purposes, we can't really show you the movie. So let's hum the song. Can I sing it along? Now this depends on which side you're on. If you're a smoker on a plane, you're pretty much trying to hold your eyes in your skull until you get that puff you've been craving for when you get off the plane. Not so much on a train that, with every stop, you can get a break. However, if your family has a history of lung cancer, and you'd like to live a couple more years, you're on the other side of the spectrum, and enjoying watching some of your other fellow human beings rush out at every stop for a nice puff of cancer. year 2014, even coach buses are including Wi-Fi, and Amtrak has been doing that for some of their trains. However, you do wonder why some of their most traveled trains still lacks the internets, and force you to do whatever work offline or waste your phone data plan, until your family gets mad and takes that very phone away. <laughs> All you Bruce Lees, Arnolds, and Kali's out there, getting your daily workout or even a stretch while traveling is going to prove difficult, so it's best saved for another time. Ladies and gentlemen, the horror of coach. Coughing. Oh, it's a trip. trip. <sighs> okay. Calm down. Just gotta go to sleep now. Is that guy just snoring in the back? For God's sake, is that guy snoring in the back of me? Who the? Who the hell is this song? Is it? Oh, 
Can I sleep with this? What are you looking at? I wanna sleep! Now it was freezing before, and the air has turned out to like 100 degrees now. Ah. Okay. Just get over yourself. Just get over yourself. Just. Just. Lay back. Back to the way. He coughs again, I swear. I'm gonna throw something at him. Just lay back. Go to sleep. Just go to sleep. I'm gonna, I'm gonna I'm throw. throw. What about? Why are you people are still up? I just want to sleep. That's it. it. Why? Why, why are you people, people not letting me sleep? sleep? I just, I can't, I can't even have like 30, 30 minutes of sleep. For God's sake! I just want to sleep. Now the, the train, train is. What, what is that sound? sound? What, what are you getting, getting up for? Go sit. It, go to sleep. What are you getting up? No! Sit down! Sit down! Yeah, take the bag and sit down! Just... just sit! Sit... sit in your ass down! Oh my god! I swear, if I can't get one hour of sleep on this train, I am not... not getting on any of these damn trains again! This is what? To sleep? That's it? No one better call? Or a fart or anything. Stop! Let me sleep! Let me sleep! technology Amtrak uses and their stellar management you gotta wonder if they have time to clean the shit off their windows according to one of the baggage clerks at Penn Station he said he hasn't lost one piece of luggage in 40 years but that's better than all airlines you don't have to worry about that most delays due to weather crappy snacks liquid bands, and being crammed to your seat because, lucky for you, you're on a train. <laughs> <laughs> 